Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Mike Nielsen. I'm Digital Director at Scottish Government. And I'm absolutely delighted that we have so many people who've stayed here for the, the last session on a sunny day in Edinburgh, the first sunny day of the year, I, guess, I should say. Um, because I think this is the most important session of the day. And the reason I say that is because uh, I'm sure all of you will have been to lots of conferences where you have your minds blown by everything that's possible. And you think, great, I really need to do something in my organization. And then you go back on the Monday and suddenly you're subsumed in everything else and it all goes. So um, one of the purposes for me of this session is to try and actually focus on what do we really want to do in this area in Scotland as a result. And I'm gonna speak for, only for three or four minutes but the main focus will be around uh, a panel discussion of that. And I would invite you also to be thinking about that question as we go on. Uh, we're due to finish just after four. I'd like us to, you know, to keep the energy going in the discussion, but if we finish before, um, or if we go on for another two or three minutes, but we'll certainly finish by uh, 10 past four um, at the very latest. Starting, perhaps with, um, from a government perspective, w what really matters here. And I think if I were to summarize what John Swinney said this morning, there are probably two strands. One is using all forms of data, including big data, more effectively to improve public services. And the second is to take the opportunity that big data brings to actually help businesses in Scotland grow. And that can be those businesses in Scotland who are specialists in those areas, and it's those businesses who, um, by the use of big data, you know, they can be retail, financial services, or whatever, can actually be more competitive. So those two strands are, the, are at the centre of, of, of our focus. And I think today we have heard quite a lot about the challenges in delivering in this area. For me, there are three which are probably worth highlighting as having come out of the day and preoccupying our thinking. One is the runs around skills and capability, both within the specialist areas, but also across uh, the public services, particularly at leadership level, in understanding how much all of this actually matters. And one of, the, one of the snippets from the last session, which I enjoyed most, was the idea that in this area of data, big data, data science, we should be selecting for curiosity. So as long as you've got the curiosity, everything else will come. The second area is the area of public acceptability. And uh, it's been a theme of the day, I think, that in all, a lot of these areas, um, government needs to always be reassuring the public about the way in which its data is being used uh, and trying to ensure that uh, the, the moves we make do not create unnecessary concern. And I think the, the fact that we've, we've had the information commissioner involved today and will be doing so going forward is very important. Third area is the one of standards. Um, I'm I think we recognize that one of the roles of government is to promote standards, develop standards, and, and get them implemented. But I think one of our big challenges is to ensure that we're not just inventing Scottish standards when there's an international standard there which is actually gonna be pervasive. So those judgments about where we should be just picking standards and promoting them and where we need to do development which will give us an advantage is a really important uh, challenge as well. They're not the only challenges, but they're good enough to be going on with. Um, in terms of what, what government is doing, we do have an overall digital public services strategy, but there are four strands I would probably quickly mention about, um, about our activity. First, we're currently doing a review involving uh, Scottish Enterprise, Skills Development Scotland and other bodies around the digital economy with the aim of trying to ensure that across 
the, the public sector organisations. We are supporting the development of... Um, we're supporting the Scottish economy to make best use of digital opportunities. And within that, one of the big strands linking is that Skills Development Scotland are developing an investment plan for I ICT skills. And I think that links in a very important way to everything we've been talking about skills today. So I would encourage people who have not been involved in that work to, to, to pick up on it. Uh, because at the level both of the specialists in big data and at the level of what skills elsewhere in the public and private sector is needed in order to exploit it, that um, investment plan will be very important. Secondly, um, as uh, Mr Swinney mentioned this morning, we're uh, putting in place a data innovation group, which I'll be co-chairing with Neil uh, Logan from Amore, who's on the platform, uh, and we've called it data innovation, not big data, really because while big data is the new thing, what really matters is how we pull all different sources of data together effectively. And I see that as an important public-private sector opportunity to try and pull some of these uh, strands together uh, more, more effectively. Um, we're doing a lot of work on linked data, which Roger um, is picking up on. I think we have a real opportunity to lead in Scotland in the way that we pull together anonymised data from different sectors in order to get uh, good uh, combined data sets for um, research. And then finally, coming back again to the workforce, within the public services strategy, the, the workforce strand is one which we'll be giving a lot of emphasis to going forward. And I think that's very much um, supported by everything we've heard today. The model, what's the model in this area? For me, what the, the strand that's come out of this is under the heading of collaboration, but it's really coming together with what's the issue? What's the public policy issue we're trying to uh, tackle? Is it disadvantage? Is it difficult families? Is it um, uh, a health problem? What's the data we've got? And who are the right, what's the right combination of people and skills in order to address that issue, improve the data, use the data, produce outcomes. And I think the leadership challenge for us is to learn how to shape that more effectively across Scotland. Um, for me, it, one of the big purposes of today has been to pull people together who have an interest in these issues in Scotland, particularly in the Scottish public sector, and to build a network um, of, of those who will be interested in a continuing basis. So, um, so I would encourage everybody to link up when the stuff from Holyrood comes out so that we can continue this uh, conversation digitally going forward.